I just wanna show you guys how fancy this thing is when you're powering it up. Check out all the colors. Oh, technology. Did you see all the rainbow colors? And then up there, that little light turns on. Okay, now that is really cool. It shows that the satellite is hooked up to the super base just by having that light on. And then it connects through this cable that goes right out the side and into the back. Fancy. This is what technology does, oh my gosh. Hello YouTube, I am Prepper Princess, the author of Living on Almost Nothing. If you are interested in purchasing my book, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box below. It is also available in paperback form. I think that it is time that we talk about something serious real quick. I started out as Prepper Princess prepping for the apocalypse, SHTF, Teotihuacan, uh, your financial future, one case scenario, other case scenario, and I still live my life that way. It is very, very important for us to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. We are living in times like I've never seen before in my lifetime. We've got crazy hyperinflation. People are living in fuel poverty everywhere. People are living in poverty everywhere, can't pay their electric bills. Um, People are dying from the heat and the cold because they can't pay their electric bills. They have no backup power. Uh, we have hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, wildfires. Those are just to name a few of the different things that are going on in the world that we have never really seen to this magnitude. It could be climate change, maybe, maybe not. But I always believe that everyone should have some form of backup power. It is absolutely imperative in this day and age. People have CPAP machines, dialysis, dialysis machines, electric wheelchairs, life-saving mobility, life-saving and altering um, things that require electricity in order to be used. And it doesn't just go with saving yourself, but also building a community and helping your neighbors and your friends. So if you are able to power a refrigerator or a freezer and you have a spare fridge or freezer with extra space in it, you can talk to your neighbor and say, hey, I've got spare electricity. Do you want me to save your food so that nothing goes to waste until you can get past whatever bad thing has happened? Um, or even long-term, you could even use power as a bartering tool. You can have, you can become a power plant essentially with all of the right equipment, we know this. And people talk about gold and silver and firearms all the time. I always say having power is what is going to make you king. So we are going to be talking about the Zendor power supply today. And I just wanted to give you a quick introduction before we get into that so that I could, could explain to you how important having backup power is. So let's go ahead and get to it. We are going to talk about the Zendir Superbase 6400 and B6400 satellite battery. 
The Superbase 6400 has a capacity of 6,438 watt hours and weighs 130 pounds. The AC input is a maximum of 1,800 watts and a solar input of 3,000 watts. The output is 1,800 watts using the 120 volt AC option or 3,800 watts using the 240 volt AC option. The charge and discharge temperatures range from 20 to 45 degrees Celsius or 68 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The unit has an easy to read LCD display, is Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capable, as well as smart app compatible. As for the Superbase V6400, it has a capacity of 6,438 watt hours and weighs 101 pounds. Combined, this is over 200 pounds. The input maximum is 6 watts. And now that we have gone over for the, sp the specification of each piece, let's talk about how they work and test them out in action. Refrigerator? No problem. It's been powering the fridge for at least a day, probably two days. Still at 26%. That's pretty awesome. This thing is just has a giant battery. Got the heater going and the TV. Sixteen hundred watts being used with eight hours left. Currently at ninety nine percent. We'll see how long it goes. This unit is capable of three thousand cycles and has semi solid state batteries. Two of the Superbase Vs can be connected together using an available home panel or Zen Y cable, which can double the rated output power to 7,600 watts. A single Superbase V can connect up to four satellite batteries, and the system can include up to two Superbase Vs working in tandem with a maximum of four satellite batteries in total. The Zender home panel is a transfer switch and is a fast charging dock for Superbase V and features two EV charging outlets. This means you can charge your Tesla using this unit. When used to the maximum capacity with extra batteries and in tandem with additional units, the Zender can accommodate up to 64 kilowatt hours of capacity. Zender also offers a 400 watt solar panel that is fairly easy to carry and can easily go off grid for camping or RV purposes. Third party panels can also be used given that this has an MC4 connector. But having a 400 watt solar panel that Zender offers will assure you a high quality, high output option. After reviewing this unit, I can say that I had absolutely no issues with powering anything in my house. I did loads of laundry with the washer and dryer, I made coffee, powered the fridge, as well as the entire living room. I tested it using an air conditioner and the refrigerator at the same time, and it would simply not die. If many of you are familiar with wattage of personal appliances, the biggest users are the air conditioner, refrigerator, washer and dryer. None of these could make this unit stop or even flinch. This beast of a unit is not for the novice prep. While it is a great unit to test and to have, this is a serious unit. It is a beast. If I were going to go completely off grid, this would likely be my first choice in having electricity given how much it can generate. It can literally power an entire house nonstop. 
I would personally recommend this as a serious prepper and it would be a great replacement instead of the expensive to operate Generac home backup systems that typically require a constant feed of liquid fuels during power outages. I always tell my subscribers two things when purchasing a power supply. The first is that you should immediately take it out of the box and test it to make sure there are no issues with the product. The second is that you should continually use the power supply on a regular basis. Doing so will lower your electric bill and in theory, the unit will pay for itself through your electricity savings. This unit is no exception. If this is the right one for you and if you are serious about preparedness, I will leave links down in the description box below so you can check out their website and make the decision for yourself. Until next time everyone, do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out. Close to a decade passes without the discovery of any new bodies. It seems like the Green River Killer's long shadow over the Seattle area is finally receding. But Dave Riker can't let it go. In 1997, he's appointed King County Sheriff and reopens the case. Pictures of the faces and the pictures of the sites.